Hey and welcome to Sekiro the Ultimate Guide. Now, if this is your first time watching any of these videos then I'd ask for a minute or so of your time just so I can explain how to use this guide and what it's about. Essentially this guide is entirely complete and it will help you get a full platinum for Sekiro. It covers all NPC quests that are relevant, all items, a best path through the game and also specifically strategies to get you through the game with the path of least resistance. Remember that this guide is supposed to be used as a full guide but you, could, you can use it for specific areas if you need to but if you're confused about how you know we are at a certain point or doing a certain thing, chances are the answer is in a previous episode. When it comes to boss battles, we really only show you the easiest method that we could find based on our perspective. If you want to fight the boss differently, it's up to you in this case to find a different and harder strategy. Now, if you have a good tip or have a question, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to a pinned post. That way this guide can constantly get better or more efficient. So if you have a question, check the pinned post first. If you do have a tip, please leave a timestamp so I can find the bit that you're talking about. Also, please bear in mind that this guide is taking me literally hundreds of hours to make, so if you enjoyed the video, the least you could do is give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, perhaps give us a sub. And if you really, really enjoyed it, you can support the channel on our Patreon if you're feeling generous, or perhaps sub to us on our Twitch, that's another good option. Now on to the guide. Hello guys, and welcome back to Sekiro The Ultimate Guide. So this in this part, we are going to do essentially a little kind of like wrap up areas. We're going to the Sunken Valley, which is this part just now. This gives us a huge boost. Although this is like a quote unquote later area game, there's five basic enemies that you need to get through and it allows us to get a prayer bead and a gourd seed. And at this point, that's amazing. Um, and it isn't super obvious that you can do this. Checked all the guides, they weren't shown that you can do this. This is a dead end path anyway, isn't it? Uh, like there's something that you can do later on in the game. So... Like, if you continue down the path, uh, there's, like, a much harder boss, yeah. uh, which I definitely don't recommend you do currently. But um, <laughs> these guys... Shot in the air. So these guys, like, normal guys, you can just, like, spam R1 to kill, like, which is why I'm, like, anybody should be able to do this at any skill level. Um, now, we're going to just... So you just... I'm going to explain the thing. Just continue this, down this path, and we're also going to head back to the Herata estate now and defeat Lady Butterfly, because now it is absolutely possible to do, especially with a really cool... It's cheaty technique, right? But it makes our first form like absolutely. The e it's kind of like fucking up an AI bug. But at this point, you should also just be strong enough to beat her reliably anyway, so you don't need to worry. And uh, that's just clearing up these things because this is kind of like the. It just puts us on good steads for the, the next parts of the game. So as you can see, these guys like die like, super easy enough, and there's a gourd seed just lying there. And that's what, kill three guys for a gourd seed, even though you're like, not supposed to be here yet? Yeah, seems fucking good. You've started sucking up coin? Uh, I'd accidentally done it and then I went, oh wait. <laughs> so, you can suck up coin, doesn't matter for me because I'm not going to use them. So, that was that. Um, I just homeward idled back to there. And now we're going to go the opposite way. Now, later in the game, you, there's a headless boss in this direction. You need like the You need the swimming technique to be able to do it. So that's why we're not doing it just now. But um, ultimately speaking, there's a prayer bead just sitting there. So we're just going to pick that up as well. One prayer bead and one gold seed for just... For fu for five enemies. For literally none. Like, that's the that's like the, the value is insane. And it's crazy how people, like... Man, some people, like, start doing Genichiro, like, as soon as you get to them. And I'm like... I do. But, I do Genichiro with two gods and like no shinobi tools and just like why not? Yeah, well we can get eight heals and twenty prayer beads by the time you get to Genichiro. I so. don't need to heal with Genichiro though. Yeah, so. but but, but <laughs> fucking John or Malcolm that's watching this video, they might need it. Is that right? That's right, isn't it, John? Nah, Malcolm's probably good. John, <laughs> you should just stop playing. <laughs> you uninstall. <laughs> so there's a pass flying agent and um I'm pretty sure we the prayer bead is that one. Yeah. Aye, there we go. And uh, you can just either go back or home or aisle or, yeah. Easy fucking peasy. Simple as that. So now we head back to the Harata estate. Well, before we do that, Upgrade we go back to the gold. temple. I think you've got four, bre four prayer beads now, right? Uh, Maybe three? Unsure. We may, may have four. I, th I think that might be the fourth one. Genuinely can't remember. Really funny, it looked like you said give Gord seed and her response was goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so we can upgrade this prosthetic to while we're here. Well, we can install Sabimaru. Um, just for whatever reason. It's just good practice, isn't it? It is a 
pretty good tool. You're just not going to use it because you're using the axe. Yeah. So, be what it be. Yep, it be. Oh, you can. You did have four prayer beads. Now you get the third prayer necklace. Now I can't tell if the um the peddler guy that sells you. Oh, Shinobi's karma body, so you can carry more and mind. Yeah, so we're just like maxing them out, gets getting more emblem slots. That's like super useful for upcoming uh, parts of the game. It's not where I would have spent it. I would have taken the suppression skills on the lower tree there. Don't even bother. It's not really relevant. You've got but, an axe. But, but I'm a dex build. I need to be a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure if the peddler's here or not, and I don't. Even, I can't even remember if I have enough gold to get another gourd seed off him, even if he does show up. But um, yeah, so we're back at the Harat estate. Oh, so what I'm doing just now is, current, this is just the arse end of me farming for some experience. If you have to do this just now, uh, this is just what we recommend. That's what it is, the peddler is there. What we're doing currently is we're farming for 2,000 gold to be able to get that. So we just came to the Harat estate to farm. Um, I, like, just get whatever, like, you'll probably have 2,000 gold, that's the thing. Yeah. But we had to farm. Uh, but like I, like I said, if you've been like, you know, saving up your uh, gold or indeed sucking up gold and not dying because you're using the guide, you should probably have 2,000 just be able to buy the gourd seed like right now. Um, but in whatever way, get 2,000, buy the gourd seed. And this is really the only time we say that you should farm in the full game. Um, and you yeah. might not even have to. Yeah, you might not even have to. It's just that we had to for this particular part, just to get the gourd seed as early as possible. Which is just was, good, I wonder good. if there was a way that you could have maybe like figured out the money bag situation or something. I've tried. Uh, just can't. maybe doing Genichiro first. Oh, I do Genichiro before. <laughs> Let's shut the fuck up. So here we are. We are back at um, the Hara Estate. Uh, right, sorry if it felt like fun. we're just kind of skipping over the the like the farming part, but just because of like how the way we are doing it, you should be sucking up gold, you should be saving your gold by buying gold sacks at uh, Peddlers. You should probably have it. Um, yeah, if not, do one run through the Harat estate. Don't collect any gold on the run. Do one run through it, then pop Amoeba Balloon of Wealth, and then run back and then collect yeah, everything, yeah. so it applies to all of the gold. I mean, I'll make, I'll probably make another part just for like yeah. farming areas uh, after the guide's up, but ultimately, getting 2,000 gold just shouldn't be an issue. Anyway though, we're on to the boss. So there's a really interesting technique. Now, you could use this earlier in the game, but what you do is you use... <laughs> you just do this. So you hit or dodge to the side, hit or dodge to the side, and you'll do, like, the, the dodge attack, and this just, like, loops her AI into a point where she just, like, can't get out of it. If she does get out of it or you, like, miss time an attack, literally just, just, keep, just keep at it. Like, just, just keep reset. at it. She's almost dead. <laughs> uh, What's going to die first? Like... Do you think her posture bar is going to fill? <laughs> so, I do have uh, some footage of actually like doing her in general. If she jumps, if she does like that backflip where she goes into the air, you use a shuriken and that will like blast her out of the air. Yep, and does a load of posture damage as well. However, part of this guide realistically is just showing you straight up the easiest method. This is like guaranteed will work every single fucking time. So, I don't think you need to worry too much about this getting like patched out or anything like that. You can shuriken her as she's jumping down there, by the way. Now, in her second form, it is a lot harder to get her into that um, that kind of loop. Now, if she summons those guys, you use the snap seed, and that gets rid of it gets rid of an amount of them within like a radius. So if you're like you want, maybe want to go more in the middle of the room and cast it. But ultimately, um, you can like somewhat get her into the loop. But as you can see, you can use a shuriken when she's in the air. Sometimes, uh, like if you do it too early or too late, um, she'll just like kind of tank through it. But uh, ultimately, you should be able to hit her out there. Uh, now, you can uh, use the axe, which I think I demonstrate a little bit. But ultimately, if you get her health down enough, then you can start doing the attack, dodge, attack, dodge maneuver. It, you just have to like get her health down, like maybe like half or something like that. So as you saw there, she went into the um, tightrope. Yeah, and then you just sure can get her down. Um, Deflecting our attacks are actually like relatively easy. You just get like maybe one or two hits in and then just like deflect a couple of hits. But um, it's, it's typically like one, two, deflect, one, deflect, one, deflect, and then the combo will, she'll like interrupt the combo by jumping onto a tightrope or something like that. Now, really, the, uh, the ultimate reason why I think that you should use the uh, dodge attack, dodge attack method for um, 
stage one is because it then offers you so much healing for stage two that it then acts as a bit of a skill compensator if you're like kind of struggling with her or like you know struggling with the game in general using like a cheese method when you can and then when it comes to a part where you can't use the cheese method you just like you know you you have all the heals to be able to make it a lot easier and that is uh, lady butterfly in a nutshell that should be easy enough to follow i think and if you get to this point in the game as well you should be a little bit more experienced so kind of emulating what we do should be easy enough and uh, make sure you use the uh, the memory. Um, uh, yeah, to, to increase your damage, your posture, the lot. It's so good. No, it's uh, the prayer beads, I'm sure. It's just, it's just damage output, I'm sure. So for some reason, it just, um, I can't, I think it just teleports you back here. Yeah, I th yeah, yeah, it just teleports you back yeah, here once you do it. Because um, the game hits you with another lol, no, you died, Axel, Axel. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're back here. And uh, so that, that's it for this part, just a small part, but this bit had to be done. And this is kind of the most optimum uh, time in the game to do it. Grab mid-air deflect for later in the game. Especially for Gunfort. Uh, yeah. Gunfort, you need mid-air deflect. But uh, yeah, that is it. And the reason why we don't continue on with the Sunken Valley is because there's like a super hard boss um, on the Gord Seed side of things. And... Uh, Really, you can be way tankier for doing them. There is an easy way to do it, but you also would just want to be like kind of a bit more chunky. But anyway, I'm going to leave this part there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful. And we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.